Hi everyone, in this video I will show you practically how you can reduce the temperature of your AMD graphics card. It's summer and my graphics card is higher than 80 degrees when playing Forza. I recommend cleaning the card, ventilating the case and renewing the thermal paste, these will reduce the temperatures quite a lot, but in this video we will only reduce the temperatures with software. We will make an underwatt with the AMD driver if the driver is not installed, you can learn how to install it from the link in the description. The transactions we will make will not harm the card, on the contrary, we will extend the life of the card. We will lower the temperatures considerably with an extremely small FPS loss. From the driver, navigate to the performance section and click custom. First of all, let's turn on the fan tuning, setting and then advanced control. Here we will set the temperature at which the card fan will work at what speed. I made the settings according to my own card, normally the fans were running slower, I suggest you to make the fans 100 after 70 to 75 degrees. As you can see when we pressed apply changes, the fans accelerated and the temperature decreased. Now open the GPU tuning section, reduce the last state by about 10%. Then turn on the power tuning section and decrement it by 10 to 15%. I dropped the last state a little more and made the power part minus 15. What is important here is that the megahertz value is constant. If the megahertz is not stable, make it stable by increasing the power part. By increasing the by the wave RAM speed, you can significantly reduce the FPS loss. While editing the video, it occurred to me that if you turn off the instant replay feature from the recording and broadcast section, you can seriously lower the temperature on some cards. As you can see, the card has cooled down by 10 degrees. With these settings, when I wasn't recording, I got a temperature drop from 80 degrees to 62 degrees, but since we're recording now, it's 70 degrees. I played some games and the temperature dropped to 67 degrees, as I said, it would have been much lower if I hadn't recorded. Now let's take the card into default mode and look again, as you can see, the temperatures instantly rose back up. That's all this video was, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me.